The 1972 Winter Olympic Resort of Sapporo in Japan was the venue for stop seven on the Wiesman FIS Women's Ski Jumping World Cup. The only competition in the Far East this season served up more familiar weather conditions as the athletes competed over two days of competition. The first day was a close affair. The top three after round one had all registered the same distance and were separated by only style marks. Ava Picklenig of Austria, the World Cup leader, third after the first round, laid down a solid second round jump, which, whilst only seventh best, was enough to give her the lead and ultimately third place. Having laid down a jump of 122 metres in round one, Emma Klinich of Slovenia lay in second, just 1.1 points behind the leader. She was the penultimate jumper in round two and needed to lay down a jump that would put pressure on the scoreboard. 129 metres, the third longest jump of the round, was enough to give her the lead, but would it be enough for the win? Leader after the first round was Katharina Althaus of Germany. The 26-year-old had won the qualification round earlier in the day, so was clearly in good touch. Could she maintain that form and add another win to the two she'd already notched up this season? A massive 131 metres, the longest jump of the day, was more than enough to give her the victory. The final results of day one looked like this. Althaus on the top step of the podium as Klinich scores her first top three of the season, while Pinkelnig finishes third. After two second and two third place finishes in Sapporo, Katarina Althaus finally has an individual win in Japan. Klinich secures her first top three since Oberhof in March 22, and Pinkelnig continues her fantastic form with a tenth podium of the season. It was a picture postcard day for the second day of competition in Sapporo as the women once again tackled the HS-137 Large Hill. Emma Klinich of Slovenia, buoyed by her podium from day one, lay in fourth after round one, and she delivered again in round two, landing a jump of 122 metres to move into first place with just three jumpers remaining. The first of those was Ava Pinkelnig. The Austrian had a nearly a three-point lead over Klinech after round one, having jumped a metre further. However, in round two, she couldn't quite find top form. A distance of 121, not enough to maintain her lead over Klinech. Norway's Celia Opseth was the leader after round one, having jumped six and a half metres further than anyone else. Having missed out on the podium on day one, could she put two jumps together on day two? 121 metres was enough for the 23-year-old to maintain her place at the top of the leaderboard, although in the finish area there was a little confusion. Opseth takes the honours on day two of competition in Sapporo with a fairly comfortable win in the end. It was as you were behind the Norwegian with Klinich making it another second place finish in front of Pinkelney. In the World Cup standings, Pinkelnig has a 159 point lead at the top with Althaus in second. The two Norwegian jumpers, Sturm and Opseth, are locked in a battle for third. Silly Opseth celebrates the fourth victory of her career and third in the last two months in Sapporo. Klinich backs up her podium finish on day one with another second place finish, and the season's most consistent jumper is there again in third. Podium number 11 for Pinkelney. That's it from Japan. Remember, you can keep up to date with everything that's happening on the World Tour by going to the FIS app or TikTok channel.